How's it going? Devin here again with CountryGuitarOnline.com. Got another weekly guitar lesson for you. And we are going to continue on with this series we are working on at Country Guitar Online, learning bluegrass licks and how to use the bluegrass licks for improvising. And we're looking at how bluegrass licks are structured around rhythm guitar chord progressions. And if you're just now joining us for this series, we're starting at a pretty basic level, and then each lesson in the series, we're gonna get a little bit more complex. So today in this lesson, we are going to learn some licks that are slightly more complicated than the last lesson. And this is where the fun starts because these licks are really awesome. They got that great bluegrass sound that we're all going for. So uh, same deal as last lesson, we're gonna learn these licks over the exact same chord progression that we've been looking at. Now, lick number one is going to be played over two measures of G chord. Lick number two is going to be played over those measures of the C chord right there. Lick number three that we'll learn today is going to be over that D chord. And then lick number four will be over that G chord at the end. So cool licks that we're going to be checking out today. And uh, if you haven't already signed up for the Gold Pick membership here at Country Guitar Online, I would highly recommend doing that. And, uh, and you'd be supporting me and my website and uh, doing these online lessons and everything. Help me keep this going for a long time. So um, check that out. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get to lick number one and let's break it down with the tablature. Here's lick number one that we're going to play over the first two measures of the G major chord. That right there is just a great all-around bluegrass lick. I use it all the time when I'm soloing. So if you are got a song in the key of G and the rhythm guitar player is playing the G chord, that's my favorite time to use this lick. It's over that G chord. Anyways, let's take a quick look at the first measure, give you a couple of pointers. So that's the first measure there. And start out with the, I'm catching that first note with my left ring finger, right on that G root note. So left ring finger, and then I do a downward pull off with my left pointer finger next. to the hammer on there. That hammer on, I do a hammer on from my pointer to my middle. So that's the first measure. Pause the video if you wanna work on that first measure more. But let's quickly talk about pick direction. And I mentioned this in other videos, but I wanted to mention it again because I think it's really important. It'll help you build your speed up and, and your efficiency with your picking if you're trying to get faster with your bluegrass licks. So what I do and what a lot of bluegrass flat pickers do is, uh, as far as pick, pick direction goes, I just keep a continuous down, up, down, up, down, up picking pattern on every eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if you do it over that first measure that we just learned. One and two and three and four and. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And obviously we got to pull off there and we got to hammer on in that first measure. You're not going to pick every note when you're doing those hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, and pick every time. So what you're going to do is just keep that motion going. And when you come up to a pull-off or the hammer-on, you're just going to pass over the string as if you pick the string. Do like a fake pick just to keep that down, up, down, up going. It builds up your efficiency. Um, so I do that pretty much in all my bluegrass licks. Down, up, down, up, down, up, the whole time. Um, so that's the method that I use for the most part. Just keep that, keep that in mind as you're learning all these licks here today. Um, anyways, on to measure two. 
in this lick. That's it. middle finger slide up with my left ring finger oops and that's the second measure so combine both of those measures see on the screen number two here. So hop on over to the next tab to learn lick number two over the C major chord. Okay, lick number two over the C major chord sounds like this. Great lick to use over the C major chord. 